Hi, non-ideal gases with an equation. This is called the Van der Waals equation. And what it does, is it allows us to take Pivner, the ideal gas law, and adjust it to account for the two deviations of non-ideal gases. The fact that volume counts and that there is attraction and repulsion. Now first, I wanted to pull out for you the similarity with the ideal gas law and Van der Waals equation for non-ideal gas behavior. Notice this whole set of terms is your P. This whole set of terms is V, and then that equals NRT. So it's just Pivner. It's just Pivner remade. Now, if you look at all of the um, variables, there's two new variables. So you can see the pressure, moles, volume, volume, moles. It's the A and the B that are different. So what do we know um, about high pressure? We know at high pressure that volume counts. And what do we know at low temperature? We know that at low temperature, there's attraction and repulsion. Attraction and repulsion. Um, so the A and the B, they take care of those two issues for us. Um, so let's do some labeling so that you know what everything is, um, and then you'll know how to um, take all of the numbers given in a problem and plug them into this equation. Okay, um, so we have P, of course, is going to be your pressure. Now A, this is special. This is what corrects for intermolecular forces. So this corrects for the attraction and repulsion. This takes care of the deviation of non-ideal behavior that there is attraction and repulsion with gas molecules. And remember that happens when we have the really high, or excuse me, really low temperatures, gas molecules slow down so they can attract and they can repel. So um, corrects for attraction and repulsion. Um, N is still going to be mole, V is still volume, and you still have to use um, all of the units that are attached to the gas constant. So ATM, liter, Kelvin, mole. Uh, let's see here. V, of course, still volume. And then B, this is special. So that constant B, if this accounts for attraction and repulsion, this is what accounts for the volume of the gas molecule. So this corrects for the volume of the gas molecule. Now, both of these, I'm gonna write this over here, A and B, you have to look at tables. There will be tables that are given to you or an, uh, a problem, an equation, might even just give you the A and the B. Um, and then N, of course, this is still going to be mole. N, there's your mole. R, still the same gas constant. And I'm going to give you that number again. Here it is, 0 0.0821 ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. And then T, that is our temperature. Wow, <laughs> lots of variables. Um, so you'll be given a problem and there's one unknown. The key is to label everything, plug in, and then you have a substantial algebra problem. Go math teachers. Um, that you'll just plug everything in and you'll solve for the unknown. Um, the important um, points to know, again, A corrects for attraction and repulsion. In fact, let me give you the unit on A. It is ATM times liter squared divided by mole squared. Um, and if you plug in the units, you'd be able to see how all that cancels out. And then B is just liters per mole, liters per mole. So there are your units. And so even by looking in the units, you'll be able to tell uh, what's A and, and what's B. Okay, good job. And notice you say that W as a V. <laughs> so Van der Waals equation for non-ideal gases. Um, if you need more discussion on non-ideal gases, check out that video. Um, and then if you need just a discussion overall on ideal gas laws, you can look at that in the playlist um, for Lean Think Chemistry under gases. Have a good day. You're doing great. Lean Think Chemistry. Have a good day. Bye.